for freedom. For the white that's in your eye was given as a present from the fabric of the sky. Today, we stay home and learn new ways of being. Tomorrow, we will be free from this monstrous disease. And in the absence of people living in ignorant and mindless ways, the earth has begun to heal. Yes, the earth has begun to heal. I was supposed to be a city with busy streets and twinkling nights, but I desired to be a house full of warmth as cozy as the morning sunlight. I am neither today but a hollow skeleton of progress where every day something builds and collapses, where every day something builds and collapses. We are like a glass full of hope on a search for silver linings, seeking meaning in this madness of the things that touch defining. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard for us to understand that there are things um, that there are things we cannot change amongst the things we can. Here is where the line between our cans and cans gets tough. The point at which we all must learn that what we are doing is already enough. What we are doing is already enough. Since we cannot choose the home our only soul was born into, we should rearrange its rooms but learn to love the view. Yes, we must learn to love the view. This life is but a garden bed. The rain, it comes and goes. You can choose to prick yourself on all the thorns or you can learn to love the rose. You can learn to love the rose. So fill yourself up with hope for freedom till with glee your eyes glow. Thank you.